Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and in this video, I just wanted to show you real quickly how you can disable automatic app updates from the Google Play Store. Now, for the most part, app updates are a good thing. They bring bug fixes, security fixes, new features, but sometimes they might introduce changes to an app that you would rather not have, or rather sort of uh, take your time and decide when you want to update on your own schedule. So here's how you can disable updates for either all applications or just some individual applications. First, open the Play Store. Then click the little three uh, lines in the top left corner to open this menu and go to settings. If you want to disable auto app updates for all of your applications, click the auto update apps option and just change it. So it says don't auto update apps and done. And now every single app update that's available, you'll have to manually trigger if you wanted to use it. Um, you can also change that to over Wi-Fi only or over any network if you want to always install updates, even if you're connected to cellular networks instead of to a Wi-Fi network. Now, if you just want to do this for individual applications, you can go back to this menu again, and this time choose My Apps and Games and scroll down to find the app that you want to install. Now, it might be easier if you click the Installed tab because that'll put everything in alphabetical order. And then, for example, say I want to not install automatic updates for Firefox. I can come into the Firefox uh, area, click the little three dots in the upper right corner and see this box that says enable auto update, uncheck it. And from now on, if there's a new version of Firefox, I might receive a notification letting me know it's available, but it will not be installed automatically through the Google Play Store unless I go back in and check that box again. Now, Firefox is actually a pretty good example for why you might want to do this, because Firefox 68 allowed you to install thousands of browser add-ons. Firefox 79 introduces a new user interface and some changes, but it also means that many of those browser add-ons no longer work anymore. So when Mozilla rolled out that update, it might have broken functionality for some users. There's support for a handful of add-ons, but not for all of them. So Firefox, as I mentioned, is a pretty good example. Now, when you do get updates that are not installed automatically, you might see a menu that looks like this, where you can just click the update button and choose to install an update when you're ready. But if you're not ready, it won't install automatically. So again, that's just a quick look at how you can do this. It's uh, pretty easy to install applications automatically disable that functionality or do it on a per basis, uh, per app basis. You can find a written version of these instructions at lilliputing.com and there's a link to that article in the description of this video on YouTube. I'm Brad Linder with Lilliputing.